Good morning, everyone. When the St. Louis Cardinals fired Mike Matheny last weekend, the front office was very clear, saying they wanted to compete for the playoffs this year. It's not too late yet, but it's getting close to too late, especially with the trade deadline coming up a week from tomorrow. Cardinal fans, you may want to look away. After last yesterday's loss and Pittsburgh's ninth straight win, St. Louis has fallen into fourth place in the National League Central. They'll begin a series in Cincinnati tonight. Drew Buteris, three-run inside the park homer, leads the Royals to a weekend sweep over the Minnesota Twins, their first sweep of 2018. And Chris Chenea cracked his 12th homer, and Anthony Shue fired six shutout innings as the Springfield Cardinals won four zip at Arkansas. They are in Tulsa for a series starting today. Last night, the Springfield Lasers hosted their fourth world team tennis match in five nights. They're going to head to the East Coast for three midweek matchups for another homestand on Saturday. Beautiful night last night at Cooper Tennis Complex with the Philadelphia Freedoms in town. Pick it up in women's doubles. Abigail Spears, a big serve down the middle. The return right in Vanya King's wheelhouse. She smashes home a backhand winner. Same doubles matchup. Spears just fearless at the net, fighting off a couple volleys, then splitting them right down the middle for another laser's point. Let's check out the men's doubles action. Miomir Kekmanovic, the 18-year-old from Serbia, three volleys in a row. Opponent just so angry, just can't smash it over the net. However, the Freedoms still earn the win 24-19. And with your Ozarks First Sports Report, I'm Dan Malloy.